all right guys welcome back today is march 26th 2024 and we are back in mississippi going turkey hunting once again today historically has been a really good day for me i've killed three turkeys in mississippi over the past six years and all three of them have been on today's date the 26th Fortunately, we didn't hunt today, but we just rolled in this evening, got camp set up, and uh, split up to try to roost one this evening. Dad stayed here at camp, and I went on down the road to a different spot to put my ears on some different country, and Dad ended up hearing one gobble. Uh, he gobbled four times, and I heard him from camp. We got him a, somewhere between six and 700 yards. Uh, he was gobbling at the coyotes this evening, so we got a good starting point for uh, just showing up about an hour and a half ago. I already got one picked out. It's just me and Dad this trip. We're going to hunt for two days and we got really good weather ahead of us it's gonna be like 40 degrees sunny with no wind in the morning so picture perfect weather um, turkeys should gobble we should be in for a good trip so it's about nine o'clock now and uh we just finished up eating supper cooked us up some mres and got us a campfire going so we're gonna hang out for a little bit and crawl in bed and be turkey hunting when we wake up Amen. let's do it Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the beauty of your creation. Today, Father, as we engage this day and we see the sun come up in the east, may we know that you hold this world in the palm of your hands. Thank you for what this season means and just give us a good hunt and we'll give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Amen. Amen. Get my hood out. <clears throat> break up to the top of that ridge and start cutting over towards him. Hey. Let's go get him. He's hitting it pretty good. Still a good ways out though. He's probably a good five or 600 yet. But we're gaining on him. Almost thought that I heard one there and one there. But I don't know for sure. not far. That one's roosting right over this road, it sounds like. He's not far at all. Right there on that hill, down that road. I think we should try to get where we can look down the draw or get up here. That way we can call him up. It on the edge there is him being down in the bottom being out of range. Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, I think this might be well. Let's do it right here. Got a little bit of cover.
you feel like? I mean, do you like where you're at? Would you rather move? If he comes up top of that hill, I can shoot him right here. We're good right here. This is, this is the best cover. Yeah. Do you need to be like on that side of the tree so that you can get more of a shot on the outside?
him. Get him. <laughs> Did you get him? I was looking through the camera, I didn't see. Oh man, it's first long beard, baby. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Get him by the throat. Look at that. Oh my gosh, old boy. Come on, man. Come First one of the year. Old man's first long beer. Smoked it in the hat. <laughs> He'll go. He'll go. Just keep holding him. Sorry, bud. Oh, thank you, Lord. How about that? Perfect textbook on it. Oh my God. That was perfect. It could not have been any better. Nope. Any more can we get? None today. It's wet now. It's warm. They've been shot at before or something. Fighting. Yeah, bro. <sighs> you alright? Not really. Not really. <sighs> Shake it. I think I was more nervous than you were. You was just rock steady the whole time. He's sitting there, his head's poking up. I'm thinking, oh no, he's gonna get away any minute. You're like, tell me when. <laughs> just calm, collected. I said, get him. Boom. I, I, I was 90% sure I heard him flopping. But I was looking through the camera when you shot, so I didn't know. <laughs> and I could tell a look on your face, you knew you got him. But when I walked up there, he wasn't in that road. You said, dang it, there he is. <laughs> laying there dead. Oh. How about that? The difference between 25 and 55. <laughs> oh my goodness. You've been doing this for just as long as I have. Mm -hmm. You've been on a couple real good ones. Yep. But this is your first time pulling the trigger on him, isn't it? Yep. First time I've ever shot it, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, amen. Let's have a prayer. <sighs> oh, dear God, thank you for the answered prayers. What a blessing it is to sit here before the sun comes over the ridge. Amen. 
just pops in me, Lord, and soaking in every bit of your creation. God, we thank you for the we thank you for the wild turkey, for the opportunities it's given us. Yes. For the chance that it's given us to spend time alone. Amen. In the woods, getting away from such a busy world, Lord. We thank you for the slow pace of being in the timber and for the sound of a turkey gobble for the chance to yelp one up for the old man lord i i'll never forget this moment and smell the gunpowder oh thank you lord thank you amen amen man this don't even feel real i mean we ain't been hunting 15 minutes that's the way it's supposed to be isn't it? How far are we from camp? Good. I'm going to say 825. <laughs> we are. Look on the old Onyx. Approximately 690 yards as the old crow flies. We said 700 last night. <laughs> yeah, you said. So, to catch y'all up. Yesterday evening, me and Dad rolled up about an hour before dark, and uh, we went ahead and got camp set up, got everything squared away, and we were going to walk down in the woods from camp and listen, but it was such a calm evening, and the conditions were just perfect, and we were like, well, we'll probably do pretty good just listening from here, so <laughs> Dad stayed at camp, gathering firewood and listening for turkeys right at dark, and I went on up the road to put ears on a different piece of country i didn't hear nothing and uh, he texted me he said coyotes are everywhere howling and i was texting back said keep your ears on because a lot of times turkey will gobble with that about 10 minutes later he texted me back <laughs> said turkeys are sounding off and i got back to camp he pointed in the direction that he had heard them i said how far do you think they were he said about a half mile and I got to looking on the map, and directly in that direction, half a mile away, I had a pin from last weekend where a turkey had been gobbling. I'll be dang if it wasn't right on the money. 695. So we got about half the distance from camp to where we thought the turkey was this morning. And he was he was a good chunk away. It, it was not super far as the crow flies, but the terrain that was in between us and him made it sound like he was, he was just on the on the edge of your shot you know mm -hmm. like you could hear it but it was one of those like is oh, that a yeah. turkey you know the first time we had to look at each other like was that a guy we couldn't just tell for sure so we started making tracks getting closer and he was crushing the hoot out <laughs> i mean every time we hooted at him he hit it we got in here perfect set up and it ended up there was three different gobblers and a whole passel of hens down the hill from us so we just looked around picked us a tree had a good hide and there's a break over in this there's a there's a break in this hill right here it's about 30 yards and we knew that with first we thought about sitting right on that break to where we could shoot downhill but my only worry was him coming out out of gun range and not being able to see the hen and not having anything to entice him up so we ended up backing up about 30 yards off the break of that hill that way curiosity would kill the cat and he would have to come over that hill to see if there was any hens and he did and he gobbled pretty good, but after fly down, he really didn't. I think he only answered once or twice after he flew down. Yeah, he was trucking. And I was thinking it was going to be one of those things where we're going to have to let them sort things out later on in the morning. One of them will get fired back up. Yep. Nothing was going on for a handful of minutes. And you said, there he is. He's about 100 yards down the hill coming yep. right at us. And so we just sat still, and when he got below the hill where we couldn't see him, Dad got ready. I got ready, and boy, it wasn't, what, a minute? about that a minute and a half he popped over that hill he popped over that hill and i'm sitting there i'm like there he is you know i'm <laughs> i'm getting kind of nervous because he can kind of smell the rat in the room thinking man he's gonna booger <laughs> he kind of went down and almost looked like he was going into strut and he stuck it back up and nothing dad, but neck dad said tell me when <laughs> and i'm sitting there got the video on him shaking i was like get him boom <laughs> rest is history <laughs> <He's shaking. laughs> oh my gosh what a morning
Now, we, now all we need to see is a. Hey, you know what we're having for supper? Turkey nuggets, boy. We'll go get us a wheel. <laughs> I told the lady at the Circle K up there. She said, well, "If you get one, bring me some of that wild turkey." Come on, <laughs> throw it in my grease. <laughs> get that grease out, girl. Oh man, that Circle K ain't too bad. Better than that other little one they got up there in town. I started driving up there and get some coffee this morning. Hey, we still can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the sun ain't even up yet. <laughs> they just now getting it, getting it hot. It's supper time. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful bird, man. He has got waxed right there, though, hasn't he? Mm hmm. He sure has. Isn't that just a beautiful bird? He's been doing some strutting too. Look yeah, at the tip of his wings. Oh, thank God for turkey hunting. Prime man. time right there, baby. Never did strut or anything, he did he? He didn't do nothing. That's a 10 incher. <laughs> Big old wobbler. I was hoping it wouldn't be an old Drake. Uh, Jake. I mean, a Jake. I know, I was thinking the same thing, but. Man, he looked big when he was down there. He wasn't strutting, but I could just tell by the size of his body. But when you're hunting them in the timber like this, sometimes that's just a risk you gotta take. Whenever they don't come in and put on a big show, they give you one look and you better take it. Oh, let me get a picture of you. What is it, 720? Seven twenty two. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't believe he did much gobbling this morning. He's pretty pale. I think this is the turkey that whenever we got here and hooted that last time, or mm -hmm. maybe I was calling, but he was the one that we were like, oh yeah. you know, he was the closest right one, on I think. It. He was probably subordinate. <laughs> Been beat up. And he didn't do a lot of gobbling, but he was on a beeline to come check out a hen. They didn't want to really make his presence very known, but he, he was definitely interested. <sighs> wow, what a hunt. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. It was quick, but fun. Man, that was awesome. Old man's first turkey gobbler. <laughs> first turkey I've got to see go down this year. It just don't get no better, folks. Thank you, son. You're welcome. Thank you. I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a comment for us. Let us know what you think. Um, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I, I appreciate it more than you could ever know. And uh, that's three hundred dollars I spent. <laughs> worth the price of admission to the old preacher man. <laughs> We're gonna get back out of here and go cook us some turkey nuggets sometime today. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. We sure appreciate it. We will catch you on the next one. Out.